Hi and welcome to A Punk With Toys. My name is Lawrence and today we're going to take a look at NECA's Gargoyles Brooklyn. Once again, one of the ultimate action figures by NECA. As you've been watching, I do love these Gargoyle figures. I don't fully remember the cartoon, but I did really like it. I even collected the smaller figures when I was younger. But this here... These ones are the ones with giant wings that everyone seems to have a big problem with. But anyway, this one popped up uh, at a local store here in Michigan, Nerd Out, out of Oak Park, Michigan. Uh, I think it may have been an eBay store, so check it out if you're interested. I think you might be able to get it. Anyway, we're going to take a look at them. And there he is. Wonderful artwork on the box. I, I, as I've mentioned before, NECA does great artwork, but they also do awesome photography. So let's open it up. And there you can see, I wish NECA would sell some of these props so we could uh, try and do half as good of stuff as they do when it comes to the artwork. And then on the back here, you have his little screaming head. There he is reading. He's playing with his uh, sword. And there he is, got his shades on. And there's the cross out of the figure. So, again, NECA does like a book here. And as we look here, we can see... There he is in all of his glory, his second head, his tail, his accessories, and his wings are in the back. So anyway, let's not do this anymore. Let's take a look at this. But before we get started, before we get into the actual figure, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I do drop another Gargoyles video. And in Ohio, the other figure, which escapes me right now, <laughs> um, just showed up. Literally, while I was picking this up, someone had posted on the Gargoyles uh, Facebook fan page. So anyway, let's look at this. Let's not look at this. All right, so we got them out of the package. Now, I got to say, these things are have a pretty big footprint. and literally mean a big footprint. Um but let's move him to the side for right now. Here's his extra head. So let's take a look at what he comes with. So he comes with this medieval type sword javelin that he can hold and fight with, which works great considering I picked up a couple mythic legions. I think he's going to work uh, pretty good with these animal warriors of the kingdom. So seeing stuff like this and yes they're a little bit bigger but again these are seven inch scales but they're gargoyles you can fit them into any scale that you really want to uh because who knows how tall a gargoyle really is so anyway uh quickly looking at it it's pretty straight it's got a little bit of flex to it it seems to be all one color it is sharp like most of the neck is stuff it seems to be really sharp where you could definitely poke an eye out with this stuff and it is extremely long for whatever it's supposed to be. Here we have some sort of, and again, if you know what it is, feel free in the comments to uh, drop what it is. Again, I watched the cartoon. I don't fully remember it. Again, I was a, a young adult at the time, a teen, uh, with a mind for skateboarding more than anything. So, it's Obviously written on both sides. It looks really good. It's tattered and it's torn. Again, NECA gives you some really nice props. Here are some sunglasses, which do look different. They're definitely different than the e.l.f. ones. So once again, NECA not uh, just reusing parts like so many other companies. They tend to mold new parts for the majority of their figures. Different things like that. And if you look at it. It does have a purplish tint to make it look like just not your plain black sunglasses. Here's his tail that we're going to pop on. The big wings, which are definitely different than the other ones. They definitely don't seem as worn and beat up. And then here we have his snarling, clearly mad face. And looking at it here... I think it looks really good. You got that tongue that is clearly hanging out there. I think they did a wonderful job there. Uh, you're looking at the teeth. They're all painted pretty nicely. And you can tell you do not want this guy to bite you. Uh, the back of the hair it is a blue and white. 
but just streak through it looks it looks good i know looks like i have a little bit of paint rub here uh, so that's a little disappointing why couldn't it be on the inside whether or not i'm going to use this head or not but there is a little defect on the paint there you know nothing to be too upset about but it does kind of stand out uh don't want to pick at it too much and make it worse but looking at it everything looks really nice his ears clearly this is when he has the white just the white eyes <laughs> this is when they get mad their eyes pretty much go white and again it has some really nice color really nice paint i think everything looks good and it doesn't close it is obviously a little pliable there we'll look at the wings here we'll just look at one wing so on the back it has this kind of like a purplish like a really dark purplish to a black you can kind of see all the dex the texture and de decals all the texture throughout it i think it looks really really nice and i do like that he has different wings uh than the other gargoyles that's how it's gonna sit it's got the little claws on the top there now whether or not this is going to bend without being heated that's what we'll have to find out but it is definitely scaled here you can kind of see like veins that are running through it again these things look absolutely awesome in my opinion i i love how big these things are i really do even though i'm running out of space in my small little town home um so anyway he comes with his uh comes with two fists again they look good uh, they're really just two different shades of red but you can see veins through there clearly this is when he's mad then he has his uh grabbing hands you can't really call them trigger hands or grabbing hands and again, same thing. You can see veins through it. Everything looks really, really nice. And you're really only using two different colors. Nails are a different red. But everything looks, I mean, amazing. But now let's take a look at the figure. Now, even with the big feet, it's kind of hard to stand them. Luckily, the tail, which is a somewhat wiry tail, it does work. This one actually seems to be a little bit more bendy, at least to stay in place better than the other ones that I've seen. And right here, <laughs> I can't believe I'm gonna show you, there's a big hole, not a big hole, a small hole right there that it's gonna pop in there. And there you can see kind of the air vents. So let's pop this thing in here. Now these do have, uh, I guess, toe pegs, <laughs> foot pegs. They're so big, I think it would be extremely hard even with a uh, stand to not have them fall over depending on how you have them. But the gargoyles tend to walk on their toes. So you're definitely going to use the uh, the tail to, to stand them. Again, no big deal. I like it. So I even have Goliath here. You can kind of see him. He's, <laughs> I did just move them. But eventually the, their feet kind of start to sag like that. They're just really big. So... All right, let's take a look at this figure. And we'll quickly take a look at the articulation. Uh, arms go out to almost a full T pose here. You can bend in. I would not say that he has butterflies, but they're cut in really far. So he can squeeze in. Uh, like that, so it looks pretty good there. Again, NECA really doesn't want to go pinless, but no problems there. Didn't have to heat anything up. Now, they're actually kind of soft around the elbows. I don't remember the other ones being like that, maybe because they're bigger, but I definitely don't remember them being as soft as they feel. I mean, this feels really soft all around forearm but definitely around the elbows the knees it's only single joint from what i can tell unless if it's hidden underneath there and it is not pinless but you can have really good uh a really good articulation there really good bend there that's because they cut up underneath here Ooh, look at that calf that is one hell of a calf let me tell you all right, so anyway, you got that. <laughs> got the, the uh, 
the ankles. This guy definitely seems softer. And I gotta say, people used to complain about NECA. And I liked... The Elf was, like, amazing. So, I gotta say, I think they're getting a little bit better with their plastics. Maybe it's with all the competition that you have coming in. Uh, you do have an ab crunch. You can kind of crunch a little bit here and back. Turn side to side. As for his head, move this out of the way. He does get a, a better uh, range of motion than a lot of them. Uh, so he can kind of look down there. Can't really look up. The hair really prevents that. But he can look side to side a little bit better and move back and forth. So let's quickly take a look at him here. I'm going to raise this up. So they're just so big they're going to be in the way. So look at that face sculpt. This is obviously his not-so-angry face. And oh, look at his jaw. Ooh, look at that. His jaw is articulated. I didn't realize that. So his jaw is artic articulated. Now, this is where you really, I think, should have found a way to do pinless. It makes sense. I mean, if you're going to do it on the elbows, but around the jaw, I really wish you would have <laughs> found a way to go pinless, at least for the jaw. But look how much it opens up. So you get all that range of motion, you can move it up, completely close it. So here he has the pupils because he's not angry, even with his jaw open. He doesn't look angry, just looks like he's trying to eat something. And there's a bunch of different food, but he needed to have it up all the way. He's got his horns. And again, like I said, he's really only one color, two shades of red here. But it all looks really nice. And the same thing with his hair. It's white, it uh, whitened this very light blue and just kind of scales back, but it looks, it looks like it's, I mean, it's textured, but it looks softer than what it probably actually is with the plastic. And then just looking at the art, the, <laughs> the sculpt, the design of this figure, other than the pinless joints, which, oh man, if they went pinless, it would look so much sweeter. Just so much veins, detail on these things. Uh, it looks absolutely awesome. You look at the chest here, and by looking at it, you can tell it is, it doesn't look to be the exact same, which is good because chests are different. I actually pointed this out on Mythic Legions that, you know, my chest from working out is not the exact same. Well, same with this here. It's got the same style um, cloth that goes around his. Uh, his waist so he's not completely naked and then he's got some really nice developed legs these are uh, legs like Zane so now they do turn back and forth you can do a Jean-Claude Van Damme pretty good for not having drop down hips again not a big fan of drop down hips but the loincloth is really hiding it but look at those legs look at those calves he looks absolutely awesome. Now let's pop the uh, the wings on him. Pop his head off first. So his head comes off nice and smoothly. Then take the hands out. Now this small, jo small joint there. Be nicer if there's a little bit thicker. Again, uh, these AWOX here, awesome. Uh, really nice how they do it. We're gonna put the holding hands on here. Considering he has his sword that I'm definitely going to have pictures of him uh, <laughs> using. I'm going to pop this one off too. Alright. They pop on and off really easily. And so this one here, since it's a sword, it's made to go up and down like this, not side to side. But this one here is side to side. All right, wings. Pop them on here. Oof. Okay. And ooh, better watch that. So that's about as far as they go in. Oof. All right. So there's the ratchet joint. Just take your time moving it. Let's try the second one here. And make sure it pops in all the way. 
go ahead and close it. All right, so these seem to stay in place better than some of the other ones so far. Now this one here, you hear the ratchet at some points. You can feel the ratchet joint, even if you're not hearing it. Although, this one seemed to have gone in better than this one. But it is one of those things you kind of got to watch. Definitely looks like this one went in further. And I'm trying not to do anything to break these things. All right, so they actually go in further than when I had it. You know, we've seen bad things with the wings, unfortunately, with the Mona. So you definitely want to be careful with these wings. All right, so there we go. Wings are out. Let's put the yelling, angry head on him. If I can get it on him. So this hair is definitely going to cause problems with the wings back there. Because look at that. So this is definitely an issue. Look at that. So the way his hair is sculpted there, it's just completely, the wings are completely in the way. Uh, he pretty much can only look down, even if I can get his head on there. And his head is literally barely, barely holding on, which is disappointing. Um, look at that. Like, it's barely on there. It's just going to pop right off. So, I'm not really sure how we can do this. Because I think the head is pretty much the same. With the hairstyle and everything. So yeah, that's as that's the best it's gonna go. Now you can obviously do stuff where he's looking down in a fighting pose. And again, trying to review these and show this often, these giant wings are kind of smashing into everything. So that is a huge problem. Uh, I don't remember having an issue with like the other figures with the head, although you really couldn't move it that much. Let's try and put the not so angry face on. Maybe this one will fit a little bit better. And again, everything hurts because, there we go. So this one goes on better. I mean, he can look down that much there. He can't really look up. I mean, it's, unfortunately these wings are just in the way. I, I, I am disappointed in that. They really should have done the hair a little bit better. You can't even get the mouth to open up all the way, even if you wanted to. But he's definitely going to be looking down the whole time. And this figure does seem a little loose. And again, this is what you're getting out of the box. I'm not saying you can't pose it, but this is what you're going to be getting right away. So... Definitely going to have to spend some time trying to uh, pose him, get him in the spot that I want him. Now, even this here, now, again, now you're going to start getting some complaints here. This is a little bit too loose for his hand. So, this hand is closed more than, let's say, this one here that he's going to use for reading or another weapon but you see how loose it actually is it's i guess it's not that bad because it's fully clo closed but it's definitely going to cause a few issues there so that's pretty much our brooklyn i'm definitely disappointed with the head i'm gonna move this out of the way because this thing just these things just hurt uh, for some odd reason, you know, you have, you know, your Mythic Legions and your AWOC, NECA stuff, Valiver stuff. Some of this stuff is so, oh, they're so hard. I keep pulling his tail off. So I really want to get this head on here. Let's see if I can get this thing to pop on properly. 
so we can see if it maybe articulates. I'm gonna poke my eye out with this stupid wing. Yeah, that head is not gonna go on any better than that. So that is very disappointing in my opinion. I mean, extremely disappointing that they didn't do anything to correct this. They could have had the hair flow out a little bit more. You're always gonna have wings on them. So I do have a huge issue with that, all right? So there it is. Again, a good figure. That's disappointing, at least from what I can see. A lot of weight on him. He's smaller than the other ones. Um, all right, let's wrap it up and play around with him a little bit more before we uh, do the ending. All right, so there you have it. That's the Brooklyn. Now I can get the glasses fit on pretty well, all right? They kind of snap right in, way better than the elf figure. Um, they kind of snap in there. It's perfectly in the hair. I wouldn't say that it's snapped in, it just, it, 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 it folds right into the his hair where it's supposed to go. So uh, again, better than the elf figure that I have sitting over here. And then you can see it's kind of reading. So you can do some good, I mean, if he's looking down, but uh, this is very disappointing. This is, they've had time to rectify the issues with the hair. I don't mind the giant wings. Not a big deal to me. I love the way the figure looks, but there's so much that's, I mean, he's softer, which is good, but the tail keeps coming off. The tail does kind of articulate, so if you want to make him flying or whatever, but you pretty much need to have it in the down position if you want him to stand. There's just no way around that. And maybe I'm wrong. If, you know, you can tell me, point me to a YouTuber that explains how you can. I'd be more than happy to watch it so I can figure different things out like that. Um, again, I like it, but I'm disappointed. I, I, I can't lie about that. This hair, it's almost like, hey, you know what? We're coming out with the draped wings. You'll be happy when you get them. What? That's, I like the wings open. I like the giant wings. Um, and again, you know, comparing him here to Goliath, which is what I wanted to do and totally forgot, you can see the size difference. So, big size difference, that's for sure. But that's how it's supposed to be. Goliath is absolutely Goliath. <laughs> um, anyway, there you go. That's uh, the, the review of Brooklyn. Not a bad figure, but definitely not a perfect one. Some major flaws would definitely keep it uh, probably out of the top 10 for sure. Not that he was ever my favorite character. I like the aesthetics of it and everything, but this head here and the fact that I can't really even get the angry head on it, wow, that kind of ruins it for me. I mean, if you want to do the angry face, you want them all in the angry you can't really do it without them looking on, but it doesn't snap on the way that it's supposed to. I think I might have to take the wings off to get it to pop on, and I don't want to take the wings off because I'm scared every time you take the wings off. So that's it. I'm gonna wrap it up. Ah, I just stand. I like the tail. It seems to be. It seems to work pretty well. So anyway, that's it. I'm gonna get out of here. If you don't mind, take a second, jump on Instagram, TikTok. Twitter, a punk with toys. Again, that's where you can find me, especially on Instagram. And also, before I leave, take a second, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time that I drop a video. And before I leave, don't go anywhere. Hey, take a second. Here's a playlist of the Gargoyle figures. And you know what? Watch this video because you like toys. <laughs>